in every era of deep oppression, there's always people who thrive anyways. And they're like shining gems in a vast continent of dirt. They find their vein of gold. And even when the world is in chaos, they just move through the world anyways and find their joy. It's like they were immune to their haters. If life were a song, they weren't listening to the song of their haters. They were listening to a different song, their song. And their song was the tape recorder playing on repeat in the back of their minds everywhere they went. What is the song playing at the back of your mind? And right now, we're going to figure that out in three steps. So first of all, there's a song playing at the back of your mind everywhere you go. And that song is the soundtrack of the movie of your life. If you follow its rhythm, tune, and beat, you're moving your life forward. And listening to the music of your life story, or tuning in to hear the soundtrack of your life, connects you with God's purpose and will for your life. It's moving the story of your life and the story of how God shows up in your life forward. So these days, what's playing in the back of your mind? When you wake up, you think, okay, today I got to... So right now, because it's, it's not yet a song, it's just a repeating thought. What's the repeating thought in your mind these days? Like, what are you constantly, every day you wake up and you tell yourself, or you're always thinking this in the back of your mind? And go ahead and write that in your journal. So for me, just as an example, it's got to get a job, got to get a job. So that's the repeating thought in the back of my mind. But if that thought were a song, it would be that song by Queen, which is like, dung, da, da, dung, da, dung, dung, dung. under pressure, under pressure, you know? So if your thought is, oh, I have cancer, I have cancer, you, your song might be uh, Yo-Yo Ma at Carnegie Hall playing the cello. This is your swan song. I'm dying, you know? Like that might be your song. Or if your thought is, Another day with arguing in the house. I can't take it. So your song might be heavy metal, grunge, smash the house to bits today. You know, that's what it's going to be like. Your spirit is playing a song in the back of your mind, whether you realize it or not. And it starts with your thoughts. God is the one who takes your thoughts, which are on repeat, and turns it into a song. Because if you're going to stress, God is going to sing a song about stress. 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 If, if you're in love, God is going to sing hopelessly devoted. You know, while you're living your life, heaven is putting a soundtrack to it. Heaven's doing it now. There are angels surrounding you. And here's a photo that Michelle sent me this week. And while you're living your life, they're singing it back to you. So remember what your repeating thought was. If it were a song, what song would it be? And you, you can even start with what kind of music, like is it grief music? Is it opera music? Is it rock and roll? Is it jazz? And then write it in your journal what kind of music you think it is. And then if you get a song, what kind of song it is. But if that repeating thought in the back of your mind started to sing, what song would it be? Okay, so my song was Under Pressure by Queen. So I'm like a piece of coal with a migraine pressuring myself to turn into a diamond. And that song is hard for me to sustain for more than several months. So I took the same energy, the same vibration of sort of single pointed focus, and I changed my song. And now I'm, I'm meditating every morning and I've transcended and transmuted all that pressure 
and I've focused it into um, sort of staying steady. And no matter how much pressure I put on myself or the world puts on me, I stay steady. So my song playing on repeat in the back of my mind represented pressure. And what did the pressure do for me? Over the period of several months, it gave me single pointed focus because I was under so much pressure. And how did I change that into something that is sustainable for me? I turned it into staying steady. And so now you're gonna do the same. You're gonna think of what your song represents. So mine was pressure. What does your song represent? Is it confusion, open-mindedness? Is it sadness? Is it hustling? <laughs> what does your song represent? Okay, so then how long was that song playing in the back of your mind? Mine has been several months. How long has your song, that song, been playing in the back of your mind? Okay, so then, then think about what did that give to you? Like for me, that pressure gave me single-pointed focus. I was not doing anything but thinking about one thing for several months. What did that give to you? That energy and that song and that repeating thought, it forced you to focus on something for that period of time. Okay, so now if you were to take that energy and just stay with it, how would your song change or evolve into a new song? So for example, if you're dying of cancer, like a diva, that begets beauty. You know, like this is your last ice cream. You're dying. This is your last walk in the park. Your last kiss with Romeo, your cat you know, this incredible savoring of life. So your swan song represents dying, which begets two years of beauty, which turns into savoring life. So in your journal, you're gonna write my song, write what your song is, represents boom. Now you could, like Jim, you could even say it represents money or my song money represents freedom. It begets, like, so for how long, like for several months of how long was life forcing you to focus on, beget several months of outreach or several months of discovering new vistas or reflecting and growth. And then it turns into, and this is that last step of how you're becoming, because Several months of looking at new vistas turns into what? Several months of outreach turns into what? Several months of reflecting and looking at growth. What did that, what did that, what does that actually turn into? Mm -hmm.